Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a talk through tutorial on how to create this like very pretty, very glossy, very like just bright and warm tone but still like a little bit dark kind of a uh, look. I was initially planning on doing a very bright lip with this look but then I kind of looked at it and I wanted to deepen it. So what I did is I basically just used like a very dark uh, sort of like rusty kind of red kind of tone. So I do think that this look came together beautifully. I did apply a little bit of gloss on the eyes as well. I'm not sure if you can see that too well, but this entire look is very warm. It's very yellow. It's very orange. It has a hint of red, but it's darker at the same time, which I kind of really do like. So yes, that is my intro. I think I covered everything that I needed to cover, so we are ready to get on with this video. I have figured out the secret to amazing phenomenal, excellent makeup on social media, messy hair. Because I have realized that whenever I have the messiest, most awful looking hairstyle on planet Earth, on my head, and I film a makeup tutorial, or a get ready with me, or something, the makeup magically turns out looking amazing. So that's what I'm doing today because I don't really have a lot of faith in myself today because I actually don't have a lot of inspiration in my head. So I decided to basically um, do this hairstyle that looks awful. So my makeup will look a lot better. So anyway, let's uh, move on and just start off with like blending out whatever this is on my lids. Um, I basically decided to just put on some foundation and I need to blend it out. This is the Huda um, Beauty Foundation that I use pretty much exclusively for my eyelid primer because, well, I didn't buy it for that, but I bought it and I was like, oh yeah, I love high coverage foundation and, you know, I love that kind of life. But then I decided that I didn't. So for a while, this foundation was relatively unused. And then I was like, well, screw this. I'm gonna try and find a way to actually use this foundation. And I ended up using it as an eyeshadow primer one day and was flabbergasted at the effect and the help it gave for my eyelids. So I definitely think that Huda Beauty could uh, benefit a great deal from simply repackaging this into an eyeshadow primer, preferably making it into a much lighter color and just, you know, uh, selling that. Even though I'm not saying that that would be a good idea because I feel like that might be a little bit uh, fraudulent, but I don't know. We'll see. This little monstrosity right here was not here yesterday. I filmed yesterday and <laughs> my skin was pretty good. And then I put on a foundation that I was trying out because I wanted to try out some foundations and I want to basically make sure that um, I have like a handle on the foundation formulas that I own and whether or not I like them, etc. So anyway, yes, I was trying out um, a foundation and I put it on my face and then I check in and I realize that my foundation has literally broken me out. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, huh, this might be because this foundation always did break me out and I think that's why I stopped using it. I know, genius, I know. What a surprise, what a surprise that I could not remember something like that. That was sarcasm. Why am I using this big mirror? It's probably blocking the view, isn't it? I'm gonna be using the small compact right here. Very useful, especially when I'm editing because that way I can actually edit a video without having to scream at myself um, or rather scream at the computer screen. Why do you block your face with a mirror? Because I don't know why. It just happens. Because apparently I just can't do YouTube videos. So why do I spend so much time doing them? I have no idea. I'm then going to be taking a crease brush. I'm going to dip it into this uh, lighter orange and I'm basically going to be running this through my socket because, you know, that's that's what you do, I guess, when you have a long crease brush and you need to blend out your crease. You just run it through the socket and you hope for the best. And why am I using this? Why am I using... Okay, let's see. See, that's better. I feel like the view is a lot better now. If you're wondering, oh, Anya, why are you acting so weird? It's because I'm caffeinated. I literally had a lot of coffee. Well, I didn't have a lot of coffee. I had, um, well, the usual amount. And I also had 
Well, what else changed today? I don't know. I'm kind of hyper. I don't know why exactly I feel like it's because of the coffee, but honestly, I drink coffee a lot. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just having like a weird, hyped up Anya hyper having fun kind of day. I have no idea. But uh, yes, this is going to my crease and I actually really do like the kind of like blended effects it's giving me. I'm really enjoying this. So I'm just going to speed it up and do the same thing to the other eyelid and then we can move on. Then I'm going to go right on ahead and use some glitter glue on my eyelids. I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer. This is pretty much a glitter glue. I call it a glitter glue. Technically it's a glitter primer and, and this is going to go straight into the middle portion of my eyelids. I'm also going to be dipping into this uh, color Lemon Drop from the palette. This is actually one of my favorite yellows that I own currently in my collection. I would like to do a video in which I swatch all my yellows for you and I kind of rank them. I did a similar thing, well pretty much the same thing, for my blue eyeshadows in my collection and that video is actually up and I will try and link it somewhere in the cards and if I forget to do that, uh, feel free to simply go to my channel and in the search bar just type in blue eyeshadows and I promise you it will come up. It was a fun video to film, it took a while. I swatched literally everything and I gave you guys ideas on which shadows in my collection I liked and which ones I didn't and why and I really think that that was a fun video because um, it allowed me to sort of break it down for you guys. So that concept is definitely one I want to expand on. I want to do more of it. Soon I will uh, finish planning out my second installment of that series or of that subject matter if you will. I think that it will be either yellow or red eyeshadow because that's what I'm really just thinking about. That's what I'm working on currently. I then want to take this flat brush that we use to apply the orange and this time I want to use it to sort of diffuse the edges of the yellow out of it. Not too much because I don't think that there's really a need for that but I kind of want to make sure that everything is quite seamless and quite blended at the same time. I don't know why it was so bright in here. I think the camera settings just like stopped working properly, but like, yes, this is a lot better. I don't know why it was so bright. I very much apologize for that. So anyway, next I think I'm gonna go with skin because I kind of want to even things out a bit. I want to fix this situation, which is irritating because I have been working so hard on my skin lately really hard and this happens. It's just like mm, not fun. And I have talked about how I want to do like a uh, video talking about my skincare and talking about like what products I use and I'm actually working on that as we speak. Um, I would like to uh, try things out a bit and I'm actually like the way I'm doing things is I am uh, going through my collection of skincare and I am sort of trying out things and I'm really just going through every product and I'm hardcore uh, just researching, I'm gathering a census of what does what, what's good for what and it's something that I've been doing for quite a while. I really want to compile like a good cohesive selection of recommendations for you guys and I want to make sure that it's all good. I'm someone that uh, used to have very problematic skin. Um, I used to have like a lot of like really painful bumps and a lot of painful like just acne. Nothing too serious. I never used medication, never went to a dermatologist, uh, but I have been able to sort of figure things out and I think it's, and I think my skin has gotten better through getting older and also because of the products and the techniques and the practices that I have used. So it is essentially a combination of all those things. So now what I wanna do is I want to try and find a pencil brush. All my brushes are dirty. I know I've been saying for such a long time that I'm gonna clean my brushes, but uh, that hasn't happened for a variety of reasons I'm not gonna get into. But yeah, I really should get on top of it. I think that it would be really fun to maybe do like a really dark and really sultry lower lash line. And I'm gonna do this by using a uh, red. I forgot my colors right there. But I'm gonna be basically applying this into my lower lash line. Okay. 
I'm also going to be taking this flat brush. There's some orange that's still on it. And I'm going to be using this to diffuse some of the red and the orange together. So you can see that I haven't really done much blending. So I'm going to remedy this by going ahead and picking up this orange color, this light orange right here. And this is going to be used to blend out the perimeter of the red. Okay, so I kind of want to elevate this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do a winged liner. I am just going to just add maybe like a thicker wing to just really lift this look and make it a little bit more interesting. I'm looking at this look and I kind of want something that's a little bit uh, of a curveball in here. I want something that's so slightly more unexpected, that's a little bit uh, fun and fresh. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a greenish gold inner corner and then I want to apply some eye gloss uh, to really just make the entire look that much more like fun and just amazing. So I'm going to be taking my finger and just applying the color into my inner corner and just tapping it up into my crease area, into my inner crease. And then I'm going to be applying the color into my lower lash line as well. And just using my ring finger to blend things out. I'm going to reapply some of my uh, winged liner since some of the gold did get in there and I don't think it's too attractive right now so I'm just going to reapply the eyeliner in that area. And then I'm going to go in with the little brush that I used for the red. I'm going to pick up some more of the red and I think I especially really want to intensify the red shade in the lower lash line even more than it is already. And then I'm going to be taking the gloss that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use my finger, by the way, for this. And this is going to be applied right into my inner crease and pretty much like the inner part of my eye as well. To liven things up a bit, I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to dip in to the shade again. And I'm just going to dab it right on top of the gloss. I'm actually just like layering the gloss and then the pigment like right on top of one another just like continuously because I really want to experiment and see where this takes me when it comes to like the texture and how the color is laying on the skin. It's kind of fun to just like look at it and see what happens. I also want to take this really light like white looking highlight and this is going to go in to like right into the inner part of my eye and a little bit into the lower lash line as well. So for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use my Kylie Cosmetics Loose Highlight in the shade Santorini. This is going to go on the high point of my cheeks. I'm then going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, same as I've been doing a lot lately. And this is going to go right under my cheekbones, and this will really help frame the highlight and make it pop even more. And for some reason, I have a little bit of red on my jaw. I don't know why, but we can just take a foundation brush and sort of fix that situation. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara to my top lashes. And now for lips. Now, here's the thing. Initially, I really wanted like a bright red vivid lip, but now I'm looking at this and I'm kind of like, mm, I kind of want to deepen it up. I kind of want to make it more sultry, uh, just like make it a little bit more moody, okay? So I'm going to do like a really deep, dark brown lip. 
And to achieve this, I am going to be using a brighter red lip liner, but that's because I haven't sharpened uh, the lip pencil I want to use and I'm a little bit too lazy to do so. So I'm just going to use this red lip liner and I'm going to use it to line my lips in preparation for the next step, which is going to be applying this really dark liquid lipstick to my lips. So the liquid lipstick that I am using for my lips is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Vixen. Okay, so this look is really coming together. I'm going to let uh, this liquid lipstick dry a bit and I'm going to go back to my eyelashes. I think for uh, false lashes today, I will be using my uh, House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I just really like those lashes. They really work for me and that's why I just use them nonstop. And I'm actually, I've been using the same pair for a very long time and it's been working pretty well. Okay, so this is the look. Now I just have gloss left. And for gloss, I'm just gonna be using the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Diamond Milk. Honestly, I have been using this stuff to death. It is such a good gloss, especially to wear on top of other ones as well. The way I use it is I just apply it to my finger and then I just smooth it over my lips. You can see that my lips, they don't look very even, honestly, because I use the uh, red lip liner. It looks a little bit, uh, you know, it doesn't look like amazing just yet, but with the gloss, honestly, gloss makes everything look so much better. So I'm not too worried about that. So I'm gonna put my hair down so it looks a little bit better, so it doesn't look so like awful. This looks better, right? Probably not, but um, I'm just gonna leave it like this. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. This was a pretty simple makeup look, but I really do like how it turned out. I like how there's like this like interesting like texture and it's kind of different and sort of glossy, which is of course what I've really been into lately. So thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.